Hello, my name is Dr. Alex Rutgers. I'm the Chief of Pediatric Plastic Surgery and Craniofacial Surgery at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Today, I want to speak to you about corrective jaw surgery or orthognathic surgery. Orthognathic surgery is a group of surgical procedures performed to improve the relationship between the upper and lower jaws. About 15% of people will have an abnormal pattern of jaw growth that results in an overbite or class two malocclusion, underbite, which is known as a class three malocclusion, or an anterior open bite where the front teeth do not touch. Some patients are very aware of this because they are unsatisfied with their smile or the form and shape of their face. Others have it pointed out to them when they go for a consultation with an orthodontist to discuss braces and straightening of their teeth. When the discrepancy between the upper and lower jaws is significant, braces alone cannot correct the relationship between the teeth to give the patient a good functional bite or optimal smile. Corrective jaw surgery can be carried out to improve the relationship between the upper and lower jaws so the orthodontist can provide the optimal alignment for the teeth, give you the best smile possible, and great function for chewing. Patients with significant jaw discrepancies may have difficulties with speech or obstructive sleep apnea that causes problems with breathing at night. Performing corrective jaw surgery gives us the opportunity to optimize the appearance of your smile and facial form while improving your ability to chew food, speak clearly, and breathe without difficulty. Orthognathic surgery includes both surgery of the upper jaw, called a Lefort one osteotomy, and the lower jaw, or a procedure called a bilateral sagittal split osteotomy. Depending on each patient's individual growth pattern, they may benefit from an upper jaw surgery, a lower jaw procedure, or both, which is what we call a bimaxillary osteotomy, where corrective surgery is performed on both the upper and lower jaws at the same time. Some patients also benefit from a corrective osteotomy called a genioplasty, where the chin is advanced to improve the facial profile, support the lower lip, and sometimes to open the airway. During your surgery, titanium plates and screws are placed to secure the jaw. Wiring the jaw shut is not necessary following the procedure. Often, families ask if there are problems with metal detectors or other issues related to the plates and screws needed at the time of surgery. This is not the case. The plates are designed to remain for the rest of your life, and additional surgery to remove them is typically not indicated. These procedures are performed in a hospital setting. Most patients stay in the hospital for one or two nights following the procedure. All incisions are inside the mouth, with the exception of two small nicks and the cheeks for patients undergoing surgery of the lower jaw. Your surgeon will meet with you to discuss your treatment plan and to craft an operative treatment plan that will give, give you the best function and appearance that aligns with your goals. The planning process will include scans of your teeth, photographs of your face, as well as a CT scan. Following jaw surgery, patients should expect one to two weeks off of school and light activity jobs. They will need to refrain from strenuous activity, heavy lifting manual labor jobs, and sports for about six weeks following their operation. Patients have to remain on a soft, pureed, no-chew diet for about six weeks. I always use the analogy that you do not want to walk on a broken leg and you do not want to chew on a healing jaw. Patients will have some puffiness and swelling for a couple of weeks following surgery, but after that they will see the benefits of the operation, the change in their facial form and the improvement of their breathing, the better alignment of their teeth and their new smile. I find this to be some of the most rewarding surgery we perform in adolescence as it can be transformative and improve quality of life. If you have any questions about the possibility of undergoing corrective jaw surgery, please contact our clinic to schedule a consult. We will be happy to answer any questions and look forward to working with you and any orthodontist who is currently treating you for your dental and smile concerns. Thank you.